Hi, my name is Ismail from Europe IT Consulting. Today I will show you how you can fulfill the medical device regulation of the European Commission using SAP. A short introduction into our company. Um, it's called Europe IT Consulting GmbH. We are based in Switzerland and we are specialized in the development for SAP solutions and also for Microsoft solutions. We are doing consulting and creating solutions for the medical device manufacturer. And we are of course partner of SAP and also from Microsoft. Today I will show you the solution which we created to fulfill the medical device regulation of the European Union. This is the Udomate SAP add-on which is created specially to fulfill the requirements of the European Commission. Below we have also our SAP FDA UDI add-on to fulfill the FDA Good ID database requirements, but this is a separate topic. The European Commission built the Udemy database. This Udemy database is not only focusing on the UDI requirements, like here in the middle you see in green. It's also a registration module inside, a certificate, um, of course the UDI module, clinical investigation, vigilance and the market surveillance. As a manufacturer, you are responsible for your registration and also for the um, UDI database here and also for vigilance. The basic UDI data are built as a parent and um, let's say child data structure. So on the left side you have the basic UDI DI uh, which is like a product family and on the right side you have your UDI DIs. These are your product in your system so it means this can be like here a thermometer which is uh, created or exists in different variant like uh, in yellow red and blue so you can take this one and assign it to the main to your basic UDI IDI which is a like a product family as I said already and um, and such as the let's say the the kind how you have to maintain your data within this application. How is the process to maintain your data? I think we um, created here a process flow first. On the left side you see um, the initial load I will show you in the system how we can do it. Um, it's a mass upload, it's a product creation with Excel possible even the uh, let's say the specific maintenance then you switching to the mass change means you can uh, change many devices at one time using excel and then we will show you the data overall visual check means you have to check all your data if the quality is okay even we have um, integrated some integrity checks and validation checks and then the last step will be the data submission to the Udemy database. This is possible after the data release and depending uh, which way you are um, choosing here as an Excel export, XML export or using our web servers for a machine to machine connection. The Udemy add-on is implemented in such a way first you see on the top the settings these are let's say like code lists means these are runtime settings and all these entries here you will do it one time and you will see it in the application later on as a drop down list below here in green you have some yeah, customization for the application itself you can disappear or hide and uh, just uh, showing fields only as editable or just visible and um, so you can just adjust your ap the application like uh, your requirements. Even there are some um, further um, customization for authorities and which kind of 
departments you are using to release your data. And then the last step will be the transaction itself, the programs itself, which we created to maintain your data, an overview, Excel export, data migration, uh, Udemy, audit trail, and mass integrity. The first step is in the material master, in the existing material master in the SAP transaction MM01 or 0203. Um, below here, you have the possibility to assign your material master as Udemy relevant. This is the very first step. Before you can maintain data, you have to um, assign your material as Udemy relevant. Okay, let's jump into the product creation in the add-on and afterwards the product creation with Excel. Let's jump into the master data maintenance. Here you have the possibility to show, maintain or create the basic UDI data. The basic UDI data is always the starting point. So let's take one and then we are already in the application. We have here some header information, the release status of the products, and then here the basic UDI data. Like I said, the basic UDI DI data, uh, let's say the kind of product family, and uh, here you can really select then your entries. Uh, in the code list I showed before the, the entries which you are um, doing and the customization are available here. Of course, we are delivering the pre-customized entries, so you don't need to enter these values again. Here we have some header data. This key is showing you if these fields are a trigger field or not, means afterwards you are not able to change these fields because then you are triggering a new product. Let's scroll down. You have your further information um, created as a checkbox, for example. You have text elements here. You have tables where you can maintain your certificate links and even the document itself. You have the cl clinical investigation links. And below, you have a comment section. The second tab is the UDI DI data. This means here you can enter your product itself. These are really the entries in your SAP system in the material master data MM02. And you can just add uh, additional materials using the search box here. And then you can assign it to these uh, basic UDI data. So let's take an example. Hopefully I will find one which is not assigned already. And then yes, here is it. You have already here the assigned and you can start maintain your informations. Um, you can just click on another one here, this uh, sample product and starting maintaining your data here. You have device information, device status. If it's uh, further information like the SRN, the single registration number, as you know, the single registration number is, uh, let's say, a very key element. Um, every manufacturer needs a single registration number to upload data into the Udemy database. Below, we have much more information in table form, means you have here packaging, storage chanting, market information, critical warnings, clinical size, sizes and substances, additional description and trade names. Here you can do your entries, just clicking on the plus, and then you will have also some um, help information like which kind of clinical size it is, and then you can maintain your information within SAP here in these tables. On the top, you have also some additional information. Um, like I said, we have these GTIN trigger fields. 
this can be customized uh, in the application which are the cheating trigger fields because um, yeah Udemy is still not ready so it can be changed so we built up a an, an highly um, dynamic application where you can um, customize the entries afterwards and changing it and the GTN trigger fields you can lock these fields afterwards save it you can only do it if you have the special um, yeah, authorization to do it you have the audit trail you have um, the data validation check means uh, we integrated some rules which is checking the values itself if it's correct or not correct and you will have here automatically all um, errors in one list and also you can integrate some integrity checks what does it mean the integrity check can uh, or it's able to um, compare data which is existing already in your system here on the right side and compare it with your um, UDIDI data which is maintained here in, the, uh, in this application and it will show you okay there's a difference and you are able to just take over these um, difference or these values from the original place into this application. How does the data migration works? You can jump into this application. First, you have to download and sample Excel file. I created already one. And here you see the basic UDI data. You have to maintain all these information first. Here the basic UDI DI code should be the same like these ones you assign, want to assign it. And you have also maintain all these informations also for this one. This can be done for multiple entries here. And here you have the um, subtables where we set vacation links and clinical investigation, all the other stuff you have, which you have to uh, fill in if you need these informations. The next step is here to search the kind of uh, process. What do you want to do? you want to do for example a full upload then you have to select then this excel file which we created before and after clicking here you will first see your entered informations out from the excel you see here the udi di data and with um, this button you can import these informations just in a few seconds The next step is the mass changes with Excel. You can use the same application to do that. Here you can select then the update process for body and UDI-DI, for the base UDI data or only the UDI-DI data. The next step is the UDI data overview, the visual check in the UDI attributes application and then we will show you the integration check and the validation check um, to yeah, make sure that uh, the quality of your data is very good. Here you have to um, decide first if you want to show your base UDI data or the UDI DI data because it's a complete different kind of data so we have to separate it here in this application and then you will see all these informations from here and a very nice overview even the sub tables can be shown here with this um, small pop-up and you can validate your data you will see okay there are some errors um, you can enter or click on this message and you will see all the um, yes, let's say missing values which are necessary um, even you can release your data if you have only the, the authorization for labeling or marketing you will be able just check this information um, you can save these um, informations um, only, only the valid ones or, or you can ignore the informations or the errors and then you can save all of them the UDI DI data um, the view is very similar just the um, values and the fields are another one 
and even here you can validate your information and you will see also all the error information here. Of course you can um, click here on the material itself and then in or your product and you will can just jump into this application, change your information and just go back. The mass integrity uh, functionality is also very nice because the all the rules which you created or recreated at the beginning of the project like uh, checking um, existing fields in your SAP system can be compared with the ones which you entered here in this application and when you execute this application then you will see all the difference about all the products which you are maintained in your system and then you can really check all let's say differences and um, after executing um, the data correction all informations are will take over into the application and will be saved this is also very nice you see the status you see which are um, the source informations here, this is a, a customer specific implementation or if you're using our SAP FDA add-on it even create let's say all the fields which are the same um, with the Udemy application. Let's jump into the last step, the data transmission to Udemy. There exist three different possibilities of course the Excel export, then XML export or using web service. I will show you in the application how it looks like. This is the UDI data export. You can decide um, if you want to export an Excel file, if you want to export an XML or web service. The Excel file uh, will look like identically like the uh, upload template. It's a real Excel file in the newest format. So for XML file, it's also the same. So it means you can just select the XML file export type here, and then you will see how many um, base UDI data and UDI data will be exported. Okay, that's done. There are zero errors. Everything works well. Um, we can just see here you see here all the XML files these XML files can be let's say um, uploaded manually to the Udemy database this is foreseen from the Udemy database to uh, create the possibility to do it manually and the last step is the web servers for the web service you can also use the same program here just use web servers this is a machine to machine um, connections um, your SAP system can use a SAP PI or an Azure or whatever for middleware to connect to our web service and, um, and you don't need to do um, these steps manually. Here you see how it looks like our web servers. Of course we are um, offering for the both um, add-ons, the FDA and the Unimed add-on to use our web service. Um, the FDA will be forwarded over an AS2 protocol um, for the Udemy database. It's uh, using AS4 protocol here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation. If you have any questions um, regarding the application, just write an email or call us, um, me or my colleague, and we will try to answer your questions. Thank you. Bye. Hey.